Hello, greetings. Welcome in my wonderful Aquarius friends. How are you doing? I hope well. I really, really apologize I couldn't get these out sooner. Um, it has everything to do with tech and nothing to do with me. So <laughs> I love you. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm going to be doing a Celtic cross. I'm also going to be looking at every single sign that you're going to be relating to up until the 15th of, November, of December 2022. We're going to take a look at the energies, look at what the love energies say, who's working with you, who's working against you, what does the um, elements show you. And I may share with you my beautiful new cards, the Divine Beloved Oracle deck. Just got it. I've been purchasing my cards off of a Hay House um, publishing, Louise M. Hay, and I use one of her mantra, one of her meditations. It's called the I Love Myself, I Am Meditation. If you're interested in getting one of those, we can do a live Zoom uh, for that, and I will use my crystal bowls and Reiki healing to help bring in a new vibration for you, um, to help raise your vibration, raise your self-worth and keep you balanced and grounded. You're all wonderful, okay? And some of you are ratchet. I've been reading other signs, and there's Aquarius somewhere that's absolutely out of their freaking mind. I'm sorry about that. Not all of you are. Most of you are amazing, wonderful, intelligent people, the best on the planet. I thank you for being you. Thank you for being here. And I would very much appreciate it if this reading relates to you, commenting, sharing, and subscribing, hitting the all bell, so that this channel can continue to come forward with deep spiritual information for you. I am a psychic, intuitive, empath, earth angel, um, Reiki master, healer, and sound, sound therapist, multi-gifted, blessed, and here after so much, excuse the language, fucking hell. I still choose to serve and love because my source is Christ. You can go any way you want with that. All right. You can stay, leave, whatever. It all depends on you. But I know one thing. The survivors are those that learn the spiritual laws of the universe. That's it, mainly. And we are everlasting people. We are everlasting. We're blessed. Let me start by doing a clearing. This is the clear bed energy. When you order this off of my site, you will automatically get this with it. I also have a sigil of protection you can get comes with tourmaline. Um, it was coming with obsidian, but I changed it to tourmaline because I think it's more spiritually protective. If you're under some kind of attack from somebody, you feel like you're being bothered spiritually. Um, <clears throat> you have faith in Christ, but you're also feeling, being attacked. It's been happening to me since I opened up my channel. Well, a year after I opened my channel, started in 2019. Somebody wanting to be me, be like me, use my gifts, whatever. It happens. It's spiritual things. Buy this stuff. It's called Clear Bad Energy. It was called Clear Black Magic and Spells, but I brought it down. I dumbed down the name, but not the product. It's powerful. And the ingredients and elements in this, it's all natural, but this stuff kicks ass and takes names and it puts a divine protection around you. I suggest that when you buy this, you stand in the middle of a room and you do this completely around yourself in a bubble because this protects your auric field, all right? This is the invocation, Archangel Michael. Remove all attachments from me, all negative energy forms, all negative thought forms, all heavy energy forms, because everything's energy, right? All intruders and mischief makers, all astral forces and dominance, all small demons and large demons, including the incubus and succubus, all living humans who try to steal my energy or do me any harm. Find all humans in spirit who are lost around me, Archangel Michael, and take them home. Remove all threads and bindings, all cords and ties, all chains and devices of any kind, all curses and hexes on any level, and all karmic patterns, which are self-defeating, and karmic links that are no longer needed. Return me to my perfect energy now, please. I ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, and thank you. That's what comes with this. That's powerful. Okay, Spirit, thank you so much for protecting me while I do this reading for my beautiful Aquarians. I also have this Attract Love Reset Your Vibe, should you have been in an icky relationship or even been with someone that was a succubus, incubus, 
They were stealing your energy and trying to create create you in their own image. That's what they do. Create more um, sexual deviates on the planet. Be wise, my people. All right? Be wise. You need the help. So we have Attract Love and Abundance, which is a, it's a, based on an old, old recipe, but a new recipe because it was given to me in divine alignment and meditation, loving myself now, speaking to the universe, declaring soul purification. I call back to myself all blessings and natural gifts in the form of love in all forms, finances and opportunity in all forms, return of stolen property and divine justice. I am love. I'm grateful for the blessings soon to come in gratitude. So this is a mantra that you will use to, to reset your vibration. There's also a pink Himalayan bath salt with this in it. This has sandalwood as a base, lang lang, and a few other ingredients that you might really appreciate. It smells delicious. I also sell a sacred holy anointing spray, which you might find extremely delicious. All right, Spirit, Holy Spirit, show me what my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus people are dealing with first two weeks of December. Show me, Spirit. Thank you. Do not hold back. What is Aquarius dealing with? Let me see. Show me, Spirit. They say you're working too hard at it. <laughs> They're probably right. I get too intense, you know. I'm Scorpio. I get a little intense. Spirit, show me. Show me. Show me. Aquarius. Open up, Aquarius. Open up. What are you dealing with? Getting over bad luck. This is incredible bad luck. This is a curse. Six of Wands in reverse is... is um. Someone getting over bad luck, getting over a hard time. Someone gossiping and backstabbing and causing you issues and trouble, not telling the truth, hiding things from you, details. Uh, although the glory of the Lord is here to help you, this could also be a Pisces energy. I know not. Let's see. Who is this? What is this? Spirit, show me. Aquarius. Moved away from a gossiping bitch, male or female. My readings are not gender specific. They are universal for all Aquarian. Um, high vibe in Aquarius. Let's see. What else, please? Please hit the like button when you come into my channel. Thank you. Yeah, they had a false fit. They had a false mask on. Somebody you were dealing with was not realistic. They were not truthful. And they weren't hiding something from you. That they were married and committed already. Or that they were... Something like that. Your reading's different from everybody else. The energy's completely different for you. So if this reading does not is not exactly like the other 12, well, that's all right, because you're very unique and special. You know I got your back. Yeah, this was someone you considered a friend, long-term friend. Um, they did something really bad. I'm sorry. I'm just helping you. Show me some love, okay, because I'm here for you, not them. They'll get their ass kicked by spirit. Trust me. If you're a divine being, they'll get their ass kicked. Trust me. I speak it into existence that they get their retribution swiftly. For hurting an innocent divine being. Here goes. More. Yep. You, however, are getting the sun. You're going through a healing process. Tell me more. You're being gifted by the blessings that are available. Healing because you're a divine feminine. Male or female. You are one of God's very own. You are lovely. You have principles. You care about people. You know the truth. You're in the word. You, you hold your body and your soul sacred. You take care of it. You restrain from sexual immorality. You don't even get involved in the gossip shit, right? But they do. We're going to find out who that is. They're pissing me off. You're going into a blessing. God's taking you into this blessing, a new par paradigm shift. Something's going to open up for you and become a lot more. Um, what What is your own style? Oh, my God, they're flying. Aquarius? Whoever this is, you got to cut them out. God says, cut them out quickly, swiftly. Speak it into existence. Because otherwise, you may not get this inheritance that's coming for you. This is a king of spades. This is an inheritance. Um, something's coming. And it's good luck for you. The minute you drop off this bitch out of your environment, male or female, 
They're a talker. They talk down. They gossip. They spread news. You've known them a long time. They're two-faced. They're not truthful. And whatever the hell they're doing has got to stop because you're um, coming into a phase of of uh, moving away peacefully into your own inheritance. And I hear peace and quiet and financial abundance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to walk away from this person. It could be a Pisces. More, please. You'll know who it is if it's your story. Yeah, stand in your faith. Stand in your truth. And it, the minute you do that, God will make it impossible for them to bother you. You'll be sitting here underneath your dome of truth, light, and um, sacred protection. Holy Spirit and the Spirit Guides are protecting you as long as you do this process. If you don't get rid of this person, recognize them. They'll come to you and they'll say, have you heard or did you know about or what do you think of this? Or, you know, they'll try to trap you with their words. It's bullshit, all right? It's bullshit. The guides are coming in to open you up and give you another chance to clear these things up. So in order for you to get to this inheritance, you have to have faith. You have to protect your soul, segregated from this kind of shit. Understand? I'm being real straight with you right now. I'm telling you right now, you need to listen to me, okay? I love you so much. I cannot stand the idea that somebody would deliberately be this devious as to try to distract you from your purpose and calling, your power, your inner strength, your truth, your own truth, and your own path. How dare they try to interrupt your path with their deceitful words. Someone may have cut you out in a deceitful way to make you feel like you're going to miss them. But the truth is, they're bad luck for you. Okay? Trust me, I'm really adamant for you. They're entrapping you. See, I told you. Entrapment. It's entrapment. It's verbal. But you're getting help from above, provided you do the right thing. Cry out. Cry out to Jesus. That's what I heard. You are beautiful, and you live in a beautiful being, and a beautiful body, and a beautiful mindset. And this person would, is trying to get you to sell out. They're trying to get you to compromise. All right, you're being warned. But you're the rising phoenix. Get off of it. Get away from it. And rise, rise, rise up above it. Okay? I'm not going to give you a Mammy Pamby reading this time. I'm tired. I'm tired of the, the crap. I'm tired of the spiritual warfare. I'm tired of the bullshit. I'm tired of the lies. I'm tired of people not being treated right. I'm tired of people not loving each other on a very basic level. No consideration. The angels have you, though. God has you, provided you have you, you sustain and hold your own faith and yourself. Spirit, Holy Spirit, romance angels, tell me what you want to say to Aquarius at this time. It's safe for you to love. Release that X. Work on your finances and career. Express love openly. Stay optimistic about your love life. worth waiting for. Something's worth waiting for. You're at the tree of life, which makes you eternal. This person's stuck on codependency and passion, and that's all they ever wanted. But they weren't showing you their truth, and they were trying to get you caught into their little trap. However that turns out for you, I know not who this is. I know not. Okay? You will know. And then, like I said, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. If it is your story, you feel it, know it, and be able to move with it. Let's do a Celtic cross for you. Where is Aquarius at this time? Where is Aquarius standing at this time? This is December 2nd. This is from the 1st to the 15th. Like I said, apologies for being late. You have to show me some love because this is some shit. There you are. Right there. Right there. There you are. You're sitting in your power. You're true to yourself. You need to, you're, you're being balanced um, in so many ways. You're, um, what's crossing you is the hangman. That's Pisces. All right. So you're the star. Pisces, Pisces holding you in place, trying to keep you in lockdown and trying to keep you in the dark. So you can't see a new life, a new healing or a new thought process. Um, 
And to that I go, bitch, devil, devil. The minute you leave that, you change your force field, your energy field like that. And you get into the, I can call upon help. Archangel Michael is right here. And he said, yeah, absolutely. You want victory? You have to submit under the mighty hand of God. You have to ask for help. You're being, your mind is on that. Yeah, you're loving. Your mind is on getting love and being sacredly protected. You've dealt with um, coldness and lies and deceit and witchcraft and backstabbing from someone for some time. Now, this could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but I don't think it's that. I think it's energy, and it could be coming from a fire sign. And this energy, they do it in the spiritual world, too. Her eyes are closed. She's sitting steady. And she's using spiritual warfare. All right. Let's see. What's going on for you currently? What are you up to, Aquarius? Hey, you need to know these things. It's a whole different ball ball, uh, ball game when you're completely conscious and you are willing to discipline yourself to, um, to eliminate somebody from your environment or away from your ears. Currently, you're working on being extremely happy. You're going towards your joy. That must be why the guide said it's safe for you to love. Ten of Cups. That's that's beyond wish fulfillment. That's the ultimate goal of happiness. Um, and working hard, working on your destiny, working on yourself. What do we see in the future for Aquarius? Please, Spirit, you're going to find this to be pretty accurate for many of you because I have been in touch with the Almighty today and they've been telling me, you got to talk to them. You can't just pander them and babysit them. You have to talk to them about what's really going on. So I'm obedient and I know that you might or might not like me. Don't worry about that. I'm just a messenger. I'm bringing in the love of Christ to your energy so you can really see. Ace of Coins. Queen of Cups. That's beautiful. You're future is intended to be very wealthy. A new offer is coming and it's a love offer. And I've said this before. It's a love offer that someone's trying to prevent you from getting. It's someone very nurturing and kind, someone who looks after you, someone who gives you emotional fulfillment, someone who makes you feel wanted, someone who understands you. How are you showing up at this time or being seen by others? Let me move my camera. Sorry. All right. How are you being seen by others? Aquarius, someone rising, Venus, North, and thank you, Spirit, Holy Spirit. You're being seen as somebody that's completely patient right now. You've been watching things. You've got a lot of temperance. You're like, yeah, I'm just going to stay steady. You're being protected by Archangel Michael, you guys. All right? Your environment is that of being a very loving person. There's someone around you that loves you. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They love you with a godly kind of love. And it's a Scorpio. I'm a Scorpio. I've got a couple of Aquarius that I look after heavily in the spirit realm. Hi, Joanne. And also, um, Sean, I know you're going to watch this because if you don't watch it, I'm going to send it to you. You need it. Okay. Holy Spirit. We're going to find out who's working for you. And at the end of this particular part of the reading, I'll pull in yes or no um, for the energies of Aries to Pisces and Aquarius, okay? What is their greatest fear at this time, Holy Spirit? Your fear is that this person may never leave you. Seven of Swords. Something will be discovered. Something about their deceit. Your fear is that it will not be discovered. Um, this could also be a Someone that has a drinking issue or loves to party a lot or whatever. But they're, your, your concern is that they're going to come back and try to cause problems with you. Will they? Nope. They won't. Because you're sitting in your power. How can you have this divine feminine? Right here. How can you be divine feminine um, and put up with that? No. You got them blocked. God's got them blocked. The spirit is going to block them. They're not able to come forward to you, okay? What is the outcome for you? Show us, Spirit. Aquarius, someone rising Venus. The outcome is this. This low, steady progress you're making, someone coming forward. This is long-term commitment by somebody grounded and stable. 
not flippy or verbal or, um, you know, manipulative, but stable. A stable love is coming. A stable future is coming. King of Wands. King of Wands and the Knight of Coins. It might be coming with a fire sign. It doesn't have to be. It could be a, an earth sign that has got the passion of a fire sign. All right? But both of these people are on horses. They both are in authority. They're both in the royal court. They both have different jobs. They both bring different messages to you. One of them is about passion, power, going forward, seeing things differently, creating your innocence, keeping your spiritual warfare high, keep your fire lit. This one is about staying steady, doing what you do, serving the Lord, bringing forth, um, working with the natural elements, and being powerful. You have money coming. Yeah, you do. Wow. Um, wow. That was almost breathtaking. Um, mm. Let me get some love messages for you real quick. Spirit should guide me. Balance. Love's not always about agreeing for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. What do we have here in our brand new Divine Beloved deck I bought, got yesterday from Hay House. You want zero and Oracle cards? Go to Hay House Publishers. They're less expensive than anywhere that I can ever find, especially Amazon. My God, markups are ridiculous. Your message is about worthy. I know my own worth. Change, change me, Divine Beloved, into one who knows my own worth. Let me feel entitled to speak my truth with love. May I know that I deserve to be surrounded by those who value me. Know it, know it, know it. Don't forget to go to my Etsy shop and uh, put in an order for $25 or more. You get in on my beautiful Christmas gift box. It's huge. It's full of crystals. It's full of sprays, bath salts, chocolates, baklava, candle, hold, candle holders, incense holders, frankincense, incense. Sandalwood hand wipes, um, tarot cards, and a and a, and a tarot spread, um, crystals, a lot of goodies, a lot of goodies, and it only requires you to purchase twenty five dollars worth of any of my products. You'll get your products right away, and then what happens is you will get your name in on the drawing, and you can watch me live at twelve noon on December sixteenth. Do that giveaway. Okay. Aquarius, sitting in your throne, sitting in this universal place of balance. All right. Let's take a look. Spirit, Holy Spirit. I'll check with this later. Let me have the idea, a little more on the identity of this person that um, is causing them trouble. One more, please. They want you to see this. They want you to have faith. They want you to use your faith to overcome this fear and let go. Let go of this person. Let go of this energy. Let it go. It's only going to hurt you. Whatever this is, it may be an air sign. It may not be. Okay? Let me have one of these, please, for my beautifuls. Ascended Master Guide. Outcome card. Fairy Oracle, and then one from the Word, Promises of God. So, be per persistent with your goals of reaching the divine and staying that way. Work through your fears. Use tree wisdom, earth wisdom. This will help you navigate your current situation. It says if you play a flute, play your, play your flute. All right. Interesting. The dark mysteries. The dark goddess calls you into her inner chamber. She holds a test and a gift for you. The test is your willingness to meet and release the fears within that have been secretly holding you back. The gift is freedom, peace, opportunity, and prosperity in all of its forms. Will you accept her call? Your time for deeper initiation is here. 
Don't let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me, the Christ says. You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. And that's exactly where Christ ended up when they killed him. For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Plans to give you hope in a future, prophet Jeremiah. So you're being spoken to in the deep spaces of your heart, my beautiful Aquarians. All right. We're going to take a look at Aries to Pisces for you. And I need to remind you that you're individuals and you deal with these people in your own way. Okay. But they don't want you to be gullible. They want you to be aware. I'm going to show you their energy. And I'm going to say, it's more like, is it a good match right now or not? Should you pursue this or not? It'll be more like yes or no. That's a yes or that's a no. They'll be either for you or not for you. Spirit, show me. Aquarius' message. The main energy with your other people is going to be that of releasing the five of swords coming out of this backstabbing gossip energy. It's energy and it's being released out of your experience. Very good. Let's take a look. Spirit, we have the, for Aries, we have the Queen of Swords upright. We have the Four of Swords in reverse and the Two of Swords upright. Aries is being very, very clear about what it is that they want. They're not waiting around to find out the answer and someone is blocked. Is that you or is that Aries? Seven of Pentacles in reverse. They're blocking you from getting to them. Five of Swords in reverse. So Aries may be one of your problems at this time. It could be. That's a no. That's a no. They don't support you. That's a no. Taurus. Knight of Swords in reverse. Page of Swords upright and the Hierophant in reverse. Why is it in reverse? King of Wands, Temperance, Taurus, and Aquarius. They're not going to tell you King of Wands, but they're watching you. They're not, they're not waiting around to find out. They're being extremely patient about this, though. What do they want? Four of Cups. They want you to fill their cup. They want you to accept them as they are. That may be the one coming in. Knight of Pentacles. This may be your blessing. You may be connecting up with the Taurus. Taurus is a yes. Okay? So Taurus is definitely a yes. Gemini and Aquarius. Three of Cups in reverse, the Hermit in reverse, and the Harfont upright. Okay, this person had to go through something. They chose something else over you. It caused them to feel like they lost their mind. The Towers in reverse, they did. They lost something for toying with you. This is faith. This is um, patterns and hope. Five of Pentacles in reverse. You have a Gemini who's out in the cold and spirit says that's absolutely the truth. They did something to you and shifted your world. This Gemini is a problem. Not all Geminis are a problem. This one is. Cancer and Aquarius. We have the Five of Wands upright, the Four of Wands in reverse, and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. That automatically, I can see that's a no. Seven of Wands in reverse, trying to put down their guard but not talking to you. They're trying to decide which way to go. Cancer is a no. Absolutely no. All right, let's keep going. Leo and Aquarius. Seven of six of Pentacles in reverse. Six of Swords in reverse. And the Knight of Cups. All right, my dears. Six of Pentacles is sharing with someone else. They're not, they're not really sharing with anybody right now. They, their mind is all over the place. They may want to come forward with a love offer for you, this Leo. Three of Swords. No. Nope. No. Nope. This Leo is injured and, and heartbroken over a third-party situation and a high priestess who told her truth. But she's also keeping some things to herself because she is their wish fulfillment. Judgment has been called on this person and they're dealing with it. 
they're in mental and spiritual jail because of what they did to you or what they attempted or what they did not reveal to you. Seven of Swords shows up in my mind. Here we go. Virgo and Aquarius. Nine of Swords in reverse, Queen of Cups in reverse, and the Empress in reverse. So a Virgo may be loving, but they're not telling you that they have been um, hurt, that they worry. They've, they're coming out of worry and coming into their heart. Why? They quit juggling because it was burdening them very badly. <clears throat> I'm on Virgo, right? Eight of Cups in reverse. They wish they hadn't walked away from you, Aquarius. Yeah, they really wish they had not left you and walked away from you. That's a Virgo that's missing you. Um, that's a 50-50. I don't know if it's a yes or no. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Libra and Aquarius at this time. Are you seeing all these? I hope my camera's weird. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. They're not single. Five of Cups upright. They're suffering. And they can't get to you. The wand is in reverse. Why are these in reverse? The sun is here. Okay, somebody's Libra is hurting. An Aquarius and a Libra combination, they're in terrible pain. All they wanted to all they want to do is work on this relationship with you. Because they believe you are their life. What what's going on with them? Nine of Wands in reverse. They're not going to make an effort at this time because they're exhausted and they're trying to heal. All right? All right, that's a Libra. Scorpio and Aquarius, what's up? Scorpio, Nine of Wands in reverse, Seven of Cups in reverse, and the Four of Pentacles holding back. Oh, boy. Um, they're doing everything in their power to avoid burden. Ten of Swords, they've been injured severely, spiritually, and physically, and emotionally. Seven of Cups in reverse. Knight of Wands. By a, an Aquarius that may have just kind of come in carefree and done what they wanted. Don't get mad at me. I'm just telling you what I have. The Four of Pentacles is holding back energy because they're a 